Okay, my next thing I have to bring up is Ryan Reynolds because oh yeah, him and Colin Hanks have mm-hmm. announced that they are working on a documentary about your father. Yeah, yeah. So I just want to know: uh, Are you involved in this? If there's any details you could share, and if you know of a tentative release date, I was thinking maybe they were timing this with the 30th anniversary of your father's passing next next March. Or you know, I can't speak too much on the project now, but I can speak on how lovely uh, Ryan is, and and I can definitely say that his appreciation for my father is just is, is, is beautiful like he he in deadpool i think he always has he has the canadian the mountain canadian book. mountain yeah, book yeah. yeah he's just such a he's such a, a nice guy and i know that he's a big fan and um yeah he's just been lovely and, and the people we've worked with over at maximum effort are really sweet and yeah colin's a great guy really excited. Well, ryan really does seem to exude the same kind of Canadian warmth that your father is known for, you know, really kind spirit. And yeah, he, um, some, some, uh, an essence of humanity that you don't see in a lot of Hollywood is the way I would put it, I guess. Absolutely. I, I think that, um, and I learned that through him, you know, I, 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 had seen his work and, and I, I, I remembered him from all of his films, like the Van Wilder movies, yeah. and, you know, I always kind of saw him around growing up and seeing movies and he was always very funny. And then, when, you know, it's interesting, actually, the bass player of Choto Ghetto was really excited about Deadpool and he was talking about how they released Deadpool. And that was my first kind of uh, experience of getting to know Ryan Reynolds nowadays. And um, when I started to learn how much of a fan he was of my father's, I was just like, oh, that that's beautiful. And then it's been within the last five years that he loves Canada. I, I can tell, you know, and you know, what's interesting. I've only met Ryan on zoom, you know, we've never met in person. Um, but, uh, I've met, um, people from his company in person and, um, he's a very busy guy. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, he just does have that warmth for sure. I can tell. Um, and he does love Canada and, and even the stuff he did with like the Terry Fox shirt he just put out recently, or he was promoting he, and even, you know, what it is, is this, his, I can tell that he and his company and the work that they put out, um, there is a lot of, um, really genuine characteristics behind all of them. There's warmth, heart, there's a point of view. Um, and yeah, I just, he's, he's definitely very much has that. So yeah. He's well, he sweet. has a lot of people in Ottawa excited right now because, uh, Oh yeah, I know talk that he made by the sends, which is again, something that makes me think of your father with uh, you know, co-owning the Argonauts. Sure. And I wonder if that's maybe some of the motivation that led Ryan to want to own sports teams. Of course, he's got Wrexham with, uh, Rob, I cannot ever say his last name, right? Mikkel, Mikkel Henny, Mackel, Mackel Henny. I think Mackel-Henny, that's what it yeah. is. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't really know. Um, but I, I do think of that too. I think that there is some connection. Um, cause it's a Canadian team this time around. It seems even more on point. With, yeah, exactly. He, he, um, yeah, it's, it's, he's got that mint mobile money, <laughs> the <laughs> 1.3 billion, he's you know, a if guy, he wants it, he'll get it. He's a guy who, who, who gets business. Uh, he, he's just, it seems like he's a person who's got like the, a good head on his shoulders and, um, yeah, even like with them announcing for Deadpool 3, um, I was just so impressed that they got, you know, everyone wanted to see. Hugh Jackman come back, yeah. Come on. It's like, he they kind of know what everybody wants, and that's so cool for creativity these days. Where- I think it was a mixed bag, though, because a lot of people loved the way that Logan kind of ended his tenure as Wolverine. It was such a great film. But and he it was- even knew to point that out in like a video. He's like, we're not going to mess with Logan. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, going to be like, set before uh, that. Yeah, yeah, Continuity not, will be fine. Yeah, do not <laughs> like he, he, it, like I, I, he, they just as a company understand, I think the audience really well. And I oh, think yeah, that that's most really definitely. cool. And Colin, Colin went to Loyola Marymount um, and Colin, um, like I said, he, he's a director of, of documentary with his company, uh, company name, but great actor too. Great actor. Life in Pieces. We binged that whole series. Yeah. And he, he does have a good heart. And um, he, uh, I, I remember reading a play with him years ago when, we, when I was in a play in, in, in Loyola. He wanted, I think, to produce it or, or move, work with the director on producing it. So, mm. And then Jen was in the same class as him at Loyola because Jen went to Loyola Marymount too. So there's always, there's, you know, that project has got some really cool um, DNA to it. Yeah. Real connections going on yeah. there. That's awesome. Well... Give me a single for this one. Yeah. Ryan Reynolds, we'd love to have you here in Ottawa. We'd also love to have you here in this podcast studio, but that might be a bit of a long shot. You never know. I do have a Deadpool costume from a previous Halloween. So if he ever comes on this show, I will be wearing that bad boy. (laughs) 